hi guys welcome back to my channel it's lolo beauty um how are you guys doing today before we hop in i want to say everything in this video is alleged 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 so you remember yesterday i told y'all in that video that Ariane Curry was definitely pissed because Martell was in Atlanta with Sheree. Come to find out, um, they not in Atlanta. He is with Sheree, but he is with Sheree in New York City. Supporting her while she films The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay. Which confirms that they are dating. But to me, I think it's a publicity stamp. When I seen those photos that surfaced of them and the dog and her beside that water fountain, that definitely looked staged. It definitely looked like you got somebody to take those photos and leak them as well. It don't look like y'all just out strolling naturally because we are not going to always catch y'all just walking. Like, I mean, I don't know, y'all. I really just think that it's just for publicity. I don't think that Sheree is that stupid. Well, in my brain, I don't want to believe that she is that stupid. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I hope it's not a real relationship. I hope it's just to keep us talking and um, just to have her have a new storyline on Real Housewives of Atlanta next season. But I hope that she ain't that damn stupid. Because I love Sheree. So I pray that she know better than to date Martell. But anyway, I knew that this is what I have come to the conclusion about. Is that every time Ariane get on live and spaz out, it's, becomes, it's because something Martell has done to her. So, girl, you just got on live and you said how you a changed woman. How you have learned your lesson and this and that. But 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 you spazzing, right? Saying that he was just at your house eating eating the booty like groceries. Um, First of all, as women, who talk like that? Where's the class? Where's the class in it all? Are you, do you have a little bit of class about you? So you spazzed out because he is in New York with Sheree. Because you believe the lies he told you about is only you. It's always going to be you. I love you. But he always keep you behind closed doors. All he want is sex from you. You are so slow, Arian. I, I have gave. Like, there is no hope for you. There is literally no hope that you will know a woman's worth. Not your worth, but just a woman in general. You should know a woman's worth. Because you don't have no worth, but you should at least know a woman's worth. And what I mean by that is no man under the sun will ever do me the way Martell is doing you. I am so thankful that Melody packed her shit and ran out the front door, the back door, and the windows. Jumped out the windows and everything. I'm, she left no, nothing behind, not one crumb behind when she left. Thank God, because oh my God, you literally was just talking about how you was dealt Martell that you don't care what he do. That was all a lie. Every time this man hurt you, you get on social media and you be unhinged, you go crazy. So you gonna really put that he just came to your house and did all these sexual things to you and you think that's classy to put your sex life out there for us who don't give a damn about you who really we look at you as we are disgusted with you honestly we are disgusted with the situation you in and we're disgusted that you are you have not seen that you were wrong and you're continually continuing to mess with a man that has no value or respect for women his kids his ex-wife them when he was married his mama he ain't got no respect for a woman or a man to me he ain't got no respect for children wives marriages you young women nothing he don't have no respect for you and so for you to get mad and post you all sex life because he with another woman, that make you look dumb. That don't make Martell look stupid because everybody in the world already know Martell ain't shit. We, we know this, his ex-wife know this, and you know this too. But you believe everything this man tell you, like you believed everything he told you about Melody. So you started to like really feel like Melody was not a good woman because Martell told you so. If Martell told you to jump off a clip, I truly believe you would do it. If he said, jump off this clip, baby, we're going to survive, we're going to live, we're going to make it to the bottom, you will do it. 
Because that's to me, that's how stupid you are about this man. And for you to say, oh, I got the camera fo footage to prove that you was at my house just, you know, having sex with me. You even spent the night. Oh, God. Is that really something to brag about, Ariane? Is that something to brag about that he came in and ate you out and spent the night at your house? But you have his son. What about him living with you? What about him having a family with you? So you, so this man is not married, but you still a side chick. I ain't never seen that in my life. This man who you claim and he claim is single. Cause when he just saying he don't date Sheree, but now him and Sheree in New York city, filming a reunion together. I'm confused. Cause he a liar. He ain't always right. He, he lie, 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 lie. This man is crazy. Oh my God. And Aaron, you just is stupid. And it's just really truly sad but like i was saying was you really going to, you're really going to believe this man when he say that he only messed with you because he came and gave you sex this man is not even married anymore he has no strings attached and he still won't be with you and you hopping on live i don't care what martel do i'm over martel but as soon as he in new york with sheree you like he was just at my house he was just at my house we was just having sex he even spent the night you sound 18 you sound like a 17 year old girl you have his child what you mean he came and had sex with you spent the night and dip like like a thief in the night he got that sex like a thief in the night he sexed you and left and hopped on a plane to new york okay you some ain't right you delusional and you pathetic. You pathetic. You you was a bad example of a mother. You was a bad example of a black woman. You were just a bad example of a strong woman, a woman period. Where's your respect for women? Even if you don't respect yourself, do you re you should have some respect for women that one day your daughter will go through similar things in life and I hope that she don't go through nothing like what you have been through. Because you are, you put yourself through that. And so how are you going to teach your, your child to be better and to choose better when you are still chasing a man that treats you, his kids, his wife, like the way he treats y'all? It's disgusting. His ex-wife, his ex-wife. It's disgusting. It's really disgusting. And for you to get on live one day and brag and brag and brag, and then the next day, I'm done with you, I'm done with you. But you just told us that you don't mess with Martel like that no more. You don't care what he do. But now he in New York, you just let it all out. Like, okay, I'm going to let it out now. Yeah, we still been having sex. We still been with each other on the low. Because you will always be on the low. I don't care what he's telling you. He probably telling you until this custody case over with, until I get full custody of my kids, we're going to be together. We're going to create a family when I get everything right, I just got to get some money first. I'm trying to get this money from Melody. I'm trying to sue her so I can get some money so we can get a house together. What foolishness is this man telling you to make you react the way you're acting? It's like crazy to me. I know he's feeding you lies, but are the lies truly that believable? Girl, Martel is shown he's going to do what's best for Martel. And honestly, he ain't even doing what's best for Martel. So, um, y'all, let's pray. Let's just pray for Melody and just let's just pray that she just just cut all strings from her ex-husband in ways, the co-parenting ways and always because this man is unhinged. He is not normal. The coleslaw, we are tired of hearing about you on live. You don't get on live and act a fool until Martel is with another woman or you feel like he is on good terms with Melody. As long as he ain't talking to Melody and he hate her, as long as he ain't dating nobody and telling you that it's just you, you are happy. You get on live like sucking your little teeth, playing with in your little, in your hair that need to be done. You you doing all of this, but as soon as he doing something like that, you feel like it's unfaithful to you. Which I don't know, cause you you really feel like the man loyal to you is it's weird to me. You get on live and you just be act crazy. Like, I know you now and I don't even know you. I know that when you get on live and you act the way you do, it's because Martel, we about to find some about something out about Martel that um he is dating or that him and Melody are trying to co-parent. You know, when, when you get on there and act crazy, it's something good. It's something good happening. Like... Nothing good, not to us, but in Martel's life, like he's dating or he's co-parenting right with his ex-wife. It's something positive happening in his life that's not including you. You go ham. You go crazy. 
But if as long as negativity is around him, you are happy. That just sound like you like, mm. y'all. What that sound like? Y'all let me know what she sound like. But what do y'all think about the whole situation? The girl is nuts. I just sat on here yesterday and I told y'all. I said she ain't sorry. She was just. Then she just say, you know, I made a mistake. I really see that I was wrong. Now I am growing up. You know, just bear with me, y'all. You know, it's gonna take a little healing time. And then you are gonna get online. Tell me so. He was just at my house having sex with me. I got it on my ring, no bear camera, and he spent the night. Yo, your child's father spent the night with you. Is that really something to brag about? Your child's father spent the night with you and left and got on a plane to go to New York with another woman. You brag when your child father moves in with you and he pay your bills and, and he love you in public and not just where where you know, but we but we all know. But anyway, y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all think. I, I'm just all over the place with this particular situation because she is just throwing me for loops and loops and loops because she's just a loop to do delusional fool at this point. And, and we need to pray for her. And I'm not playing. Pray for her. She has two beautiful kids. And this woman is acting like this. Let's pray for them babies. If anything, pray for her babies. Let's just send prayer her way. Because, Lord, she going to need it.